Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss how to select the main earth cable for the LV panels. In one of my previous video, I have discussed about the cable selections for phase cables for neutral cables. But this video is dedicated to know how to calculate the main earth cable which is connecting the main earth terminal of the panel to the earth electrode. I hope you got the question. In this video, we will size the main earth cable as per ADDC and DIVA regulation. Before sizing of the main earth cable, let us understand some terms. The MDB stand here for main distribution board and this earth terminal of the MDB is called main earth terminal. This is the earth pit chamber and this one is the earth electrode which is giving intimate contacts with the earth or ground. This cable which is connecting the main earth terminal and the earth electrode it is called main earth cable. The motto of this video is to select the size for the main earth cable. Now, as I told you, this video will be as per the ADDC regulation and as per the DIVA regulation. This chart, I took it from the ADDC regulation. From this chart, it is very clear that when the main intermer breaker rating of the LV panel is 60 ampere or 100 ampere, then we required only one pit or one earth electrode and the minimum size required for the earth conductor is 16 square mm. When the main incomer breaker rating of the LV panel is 200 ampere, then we required one pit with the minimum size of the earth conductor 50 square mm. In same way, if the main incomer rating of the LV panel is 300 ampere, then it is required one earth pit for that main distribution board but the earth cable size should be at least 50 square mm. If you will refer this table then you will find that for each breaker rating of the LV panel there is number of pit and the minimum size of the main earth conductor is given. Let us take some example in order to select the minimum size of the main earth conductor. Here is the first example. Here you can see that the main incomer rating of this LV panel is 2500 ampere. So as per this chart when the main incomer breaker rating of LV panel is 2500 ampere then it's required 2 pit and the cable of the size of the main earth cable will be 150 square mm. So here there is a 2 earth 2 pits this is the pit symbol 2 pits and the minimum size of the cable here mentioned as 150 square mm copper cable. Now let us take another example. For this LV panel, the main incomer breaker rating is 300 ampere. So as per this chart, it that LV panel required one earth pit with minimum size of the main earth conductor as 50 square mm. Here you can see that there is only one pit and the size of the main earth conductor is 70 mm. But as per the chart, it is 50 mm. It is the minimum. You can go for the next higher rating cable also. Now, I hope you clearly understood how to select the main earth cable size for a particular LV panel. In DIVA and ADDC regulation, the size of the conductor will be same as per the breaker rating but the number of earth pit will change 
as per the ADDC regulation, there is two pits required when the incomer rating is 500 and above. But for the DIVA regulation, after 200 ampere of the main incomer rating, two earth pits are required. But the cable size in ADDC regulation as well as in DIVA regulation will be selected same from this as per this chart. The other thing which I want to highlight that suppose if my panel has a rating of 1600 ampere for example I am taking 1600 ampere then from this chart we can say that there is two pit earth pit is required for this LV panel. The distance between these two earth pit should be at least 6 meter or above. It should not be less than 6 meter. The other point which I want to highlight that suppose this incomer rating is 1600 ampere then we can select this cable size as 70 square mm and this one also as 70 square mm but any other bigger size also we can select like after 70 the available standard size is 95 so we can choose the 95 square mm size this cable size which is given in the chart is the minimum cable size means we can go for the higher value of the cable size but of course we have to pay some more money in order to select the bigger size. Sometime we are selecting one higher size cable than the required cable size by considering the age factor. Of course with the time the cable will degrade and its capacity will decrease. So by choosing the next higher size cable we are increasing the age of the cable. After 20 years, the 95 square mm cable will have the capacity as a 70 square mm size cable. So sometime consultant is forcing to select the higher size of cable than the required size by considering the age factor by considering the aging factor. I hope you find my video informative and you learn something new from this video. If you really like my video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye. Thank you so much.